Hello guys today's movie is a 2010 Spanish horror thriller film, Julius Eyes, also known as, Los Ojos de Julia, in Spanish, directed by Guilam Morales and written by Morales and Oriel Paolo. It was produced by Guillermo del Toro, Joaquin Padro and Mar Targarona. So spoilers ahead, go watch the full movie if you don't want it to be spoiled as it is a really good movie. Tormented by an unseen presence, a blind woman, Sarah keeps calling out someone but after getting no answer, prepares to hang herself in her basement, but changes her mind after she realizes the presence of an actual person in the basement. But as she tries to remove the noose, the stool beneath her is kicked away, leaving her to die. Miles away, Sarah's twin sister, Julia, feels suffocated and collapses, sensing something amiss. Julia, with her husband then visit her sister's house where they find the body of Sarah in the basement. Julia who has the same degenerative disease but can still see, is tormented by Sarah's death and also has the feeling of another presence nearby. She insists Sarah was not depressed as she was awaiting surgery to restore her vision. Her husband, Isaac, gets an information from her doctor that Sarah's eye surgery was a failure and maybe Sarah had committed suicide because of it, but Isaac hides it from Julia as she was also going to have a surgery and the information could hurt her, but even though Isaac insists she stop investigating, Sarah didn't stop and alas Isaac had to say her the truth. But Sarah knew in her mind that it was not a suicide. Julia meets Sarah's elderly blind neighbor Soledad, who has a pessimistic view that Isaac will leave her, as even Soldad's own son, Angel, abandoned her after she went blind. Later Sarah visits a hospital where she overheard some blind women talking about Sarah that she had a boyfriend. In the hospital Julia also encounters the mystery man and chases after her but the man succeeds in escaping. After hearing that Sarah had a boyfriend, and they visited a hotel nearby, Julia goes there with Isaac, she is approached by an elderly janitor, Crespulo, who warns her of, men who live in shadows, who are dangerous because they are tired of being ignored. Isaac then finds out what Julia had been doing and listens to her for the last time as she said that, they can find the photo of the mystery man from the CCTV footage and this was the only proof of Julia's murder, but Isaac disappears and Julia is convinced that the, invisible man, has kidnapped him, though the police are skeptical. Julia knew that Crespulo would have answers but someone kills Crespulo, and police rule it as an accident. Julia's eyesight continues to deteriorate. When Julia and the inspector return to Sarah's house, the inspector discovers a suicide note on the bed while Julia is in the basement and she hits a body in the dark. Not knowing who it was she gets scared and screams for help and the inspector sees Isaac's body. And Julia, who is now fully blind, cannot see anything. A grieving Julia learns Isaac's suicide note declared he loved Sarah, with whom he had been having an affair for six months. Later however, an eye donor is found, so the operation to save Julia's sight goes ahead. And it was a success and she is told she must wear bandages to protect her eyes from light for two weeks, although she is said to stay at the hospital she insists on staying in Sarah's house as she knew the place and also the morgue agrees to keep Isaac's body so she can see him to say goodbye after her surgery. She returns to Sarah's house with the daily help of a home nursing aide, Ivan. Julia is plagued by disorientation and convinced that somebody is lurking in the house, but Ivan's patience helps her regain her independence. Four days before Julia is due to remove her bandages, an unseen man almost succeeds in drugging Julia while she sleeps. However, she wakes, panicked, and accidentally hits the intruder. She flees to a neighbor, Blasco whom she asks to call the police but couldn't as telephone lines were out now Blasco tries to make advances on her. She escapes, paging Ivan, who finds her hiding outside in the rain and escorts her to his apartment. While Ivan is out, Julia hears the voice of Blasco's shy daughter, Leah, who tells her that Ivan is the invisible man who tormented and blinded Sarah by ruining her operation, forced Isaac to write the fake suicide note before killing him, and has walls covered with photographs of Julia and Sarah. Julia doesn't believe him at first but later Julia hides in the bathroom where, four days early, she tears off her bandages, desperate to see. 
Julia exits the bathroom and sees Ivan's walls covered with photographs of the twins. Julia then finds out that Ivan had killed the girl Leah and she had a knife through her mouth stuck to the wall. Ivan looking for Julia returns to the apartment, where Julia pretends that she is crying because she was tricked by a girl into removing her bandages and now her operation has failed. He believes her momentarily before leading her to the body of the real Ivan. Julia's scream betrays the fact that she can see. Ivan, tells her he loves her and wants them to be together as long as her sight is gone, since blind women are the only ones who need him. Julia gets away from Ivan and, Ivan, drives Julia back to Sarah's, where she flees to Soledad's. Ivan, chases her and addresses Soledad as mom, revealing himself as her missing son, Angel. A candle and glasses betray the fact that Soledad is not really blind as she knocks Julia out, at which point an enraged Angel attacks his mother and blinds her. Julia escapes and manages to contact the police. Alas she uses a flashlight to show the police a bloodied Angel hiding in a corner of the room. Finally visible, he slits his own throat. At the hospital, Julia is told the damage to her new eyes is irreversible. Using her last few hours of vision, she finally says goodbye to Isaac's corpse, and it is revealed that he had donated his eyes to her, hope you guys have a good day bye bye.